My name is Marcel Hiber, and my wife's name is Ida. She's very outgoing, very personable, very sociable, very family-oriented. She loves her kids. We noticed a change in her behavior, in her conduct. She started to socialize more with the neighbors, uninvited, more or less, where she would just walk right in. So the neighbors started noticing a change in her behavior. We're not sure of what is actually going on, but we know it's very peculiar and unusual because it's not her demeanor, it's not her personality. We started going to see a doctor. The doctor felt that it might be depression, it might be anxiety. The behavior continues to change drastically. And that's when we found out that she had frontotemporal dementia. We've spent 30 years together and we've shared so many good memories and we have two beautiful children. I know I have to be strong, I have to be strong for her, I have to be strong for the kids. You're not supposed to get dementia at 55 years old. We're both healthy, we're both fit and uh, we have plans and all of a sudden that stops and now you have to deal with what's happening in the moment. And I soon learned quickly that you need a lot of support. When a person's been diagnosed, they quite often leave that doctor's office. They kind of feel like they're staring into the abyss and they don't know what to do next. And so that's where we step in. I was very grateful uh, that the hospital, during that meeting that we had of uh, the diagnosis, that they provided me two pieces of paper, basically some resources and support in the city, in the province that I could reach out to. And one of them was the Alzheimer's Society. When families reach out to us or they get connected to us through referral, it's really that sense of community helping them to navigate um, the dementia journey, helping them to connect with other caregivers and other families who have been impacted by the disease. The First Link program is there for people who have dementia and people who are caring for someone with dementia. It's in some ways the, the doorway. First Link has provided me the ability to understand the illness a lot more. The Alzheimer Support Group for Young Onset Dementia has been probably the most fulfilling and the most effective for me, meeting other people who are going through this, this process. It's provided me not only a lot of strength, but provided me guidance, and it's allowed me to reach where I am today. Diagnosis is becoming more prevalent. Numbers are increasing, statistics are increasing across Canada. And over the last few years, we've really been able to increase our capacity within the First Link Client Support Program. And what that means directly for clients is increased outreach. Because there's been so many resources and so many connections made through the Alzheimer's Society, uh, it, like I said, it's, it's been kind of encouraging and uplifting for me and provided me some confidence that I could go through this journey. Uh, understanding the different phases and the different stages of the illness. Ida was placed in a care home in May of 2021. It was becoming very, very difficult. She was at a point where she was very exit-seeking and she was very anxious. I started realizing that she needed to be in a place where they could care for her 24-7. I think without the Alzheimer's Society, Ida would not have stayed at home as long as she did. And our goal is always to try to keep our loved ones home as much as we could.